right, everybody, another episode of The Art and the Artist. Today, I am joined by John Stephen Camacho. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good. Good. Prepping for the uh, the Thanksgiving dinners that we're going to have soon. Yeah. So, yeah, 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 everyone. This is the day before Thanksgiving. Thank you <laughs> so much for uh, taking the time. I, I know it's, uh, it's a busy, uh, busy week. Uh, yeah, no today. worries. Yeah, I, I think... I think today has been a bit more of like a relaxing. Um, okay, good. I think I think tomorrow is just going to be more of me like at like social, <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. social uh, parties and stuff, and it's going to be uh-huh. like, all right, it's time for me to get some alone time before that happens. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. yeah. Thank you uh, for letting me cut into that. Uh, you know, yeah, no Thanksgiving <laughs> yeah, <laughs> alone all time. Good. All right. All right, man. Well, um, yeah, let's let's get this started, man. I um I had the pleasure yeah. of seeing your work. You know, I, I always like interviewing artists who, who I've met or or work that I've seen in person. Um, so yeah, this is a, a big honor for you, man. And I mean, your 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 artwork speaks for itself too. So I'm a you know big fan. Oh, I'm glad. Of you. Yeah, I'm glad. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So um so how how did this start? Were you always just an artistic person? How did this art career take its first step yeah I've always uh, taken a knack for drawing when I was little uh, but I, it it really started when um because my dad is is a he's he graduated with a bachelor's in fine arts oh wow okay. um, and when I was like a kid um I saw like this uh graphite portrait that he did of my mom okay um and I was like well what's that you know and, yeah. and, and, and then my mom was like oh your dad drew it I was wow. like, what? That's crazy. <laughs> and so, and so I was like, all right, he could do that. Um, yeah. And then I sort of, uh, I, I was sort of inspired uh, yeah. from that. And so mm-hmm. like, uh, I think ever since I knew my dad was an artist when I was little, like, w- like whatever, something that I like to watch yeah. or cartoons or something like that, uh-huh. or I see in like a lunchbox, mm-hmm. like the illustration, the lunchbox, like I'd be yeah. like, dad, draw that for me. You know, yeah. <laughs> he, would, <laughs> he would draw it for me and stuff. And uh-huh. like, I, like I give him my action figures and he would just yeah. draw it all. Oh, um, that's dope. Yeah. And so, and so I think that's really just how I started was with my dad. Um, okay. Oh, that's uh, great, man. Yeah. yeah. And then I think ever since like I, I, I like I sort of asked him to do that, you know, like uh-huh. I was like, oh, like I like I can like I can try, you know. And so like yeah. I start like I started like because I, I read a lot of comic books when I was little, like it was like a lot of hand me downs from like sure. people, like like family friends, kids and stuff like that. And so I would yeah. get them like Ninja Turtles, like Spider-Man, Batman, whatever. Yeah. And so whenever I would read it, I like I would be like, Oh, I like that. Um like like pose or something like that yeah and so like i would try to copy like oh, okay. the, the, yeah. The, 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 yeah so that's how that's how it really started and then like i just sort of kept copying and like yeah. drawing what i what i saw and then i kind of just like you know just kind of copied so. yeah 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 awesome so yeah. was that i mean i know it's hard to say when you're young but the older you got was that sort of the plan like okay i'm i'm good at this i'm going to become a professional artist um, I think definitely when it, when, when it hit high school was okay. when I was like, cause I, I think during high school was when we're sort of like, uh, thinking about it more where it's like, yeah. Oh, what direction. Mm-hmm. And I think once I heard about like, you know, like careers in art, I was yeah. like, yes, that I'm going to yeah. take that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, my parents are like, I kind of like when they heard it, they're kind of like, um, maybe you should take like physical therapy, you know, like or OT, like you know, yeah, uh-huh. in the medical field, which is like very in demand. And yeah, I'm like, and then like I thought about it, I'm like, you know what? No, like, yeah, like I I was adamant. I was like, this yeah. is what I'm good at. Like that, I, yeah. I like I like drawing. Like I like you know watching cartoons and and, and yeah, like all the art, entertainment art stuff. And I was like, this is this is this is I'm not gonna back down from it. So yeah, that's absolutely. kind of what it's kind of what I, what, what happened. Um, that's dope. Yeah, and then I, I think when it when it got into college, because um, the high school I went to had a very strong like um, like elective course for animation. Okay. Um, and so, like, I took animation for all four years of my high school. Oh, okay. Um, okay. I was okay. Like, yeah, this is, this is the thing. You know, yeah. I'm gonna do this thing, and then I hit college, and I'm like, you know what? 
second thought <laughs> maybe uh-huh. not <laughs> oh really <laughs> oh, okay. maybe not <laughs> uh-huh. um yeah because i love i i love watching um cartoons like i like i was always like like when, when i was a kid i would always watch cartoon network stuff yeah I watch, yeah like, Disney channel like nickelodeon all the cartoons like that from the last airbender like Ninja yeah Turtles, yeah it's like yeah Scooby-Doo, you know stuff like that and oh, I'm, like, sure. I, I was so fascinated and i was like oh i can make art come to life in that way and, sure you know? yeah um, okay are you uh well i guess you i'm guessing you're in socal that's a you nice know, short at yeah. lcc you're born yeah. and raised down here no actually i'm not um so I, I, I'm actually born in the Middle East. So oh, really? I, okay. I was born in a country called Bahrain. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So um, I was there till I was like 11 or 12. And that's when okay. I, that's when, oh, I, wow. that's when my parents and I moved. Okay. All right. So yeah. you left Bahrain to come to California then, then in, in your high school yeah. out here. And okay. Yeah. Where did you go to high school? If you don't mind me asking. I went to Roland High School. Um, okay. Yeah. John, yeah. John A. Roland High School. Yeah, yeah, my cousin went there. My sister went there for a little bit, actually. I I lived oh, in wow. Chino Hills for like a year. Hey, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, that's cool. Yeah. Back, yeah. Oh, that's dope, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly where that is. All right. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. When you get to college, then did you major in art, or were you thinking about something I did. else? Okay. Yeah, so I majored in in arts in, with uh, in animation. Okay. Um, and so they had a strong animation program there. I went to uh, Mount San Antonio College. In, okay. And um, walnut. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, oh. Walnuts, and they had a very strong art program there. Um, mm-hmm. Like I, I think for me it was more of like the entertainment arts. Um, okay. Sort sure. of like uh, direction. Uh-huh. Um, and so I was studying there. Like I, I was doing a lot of figure drawing classes. Um, mm-hmm. I was taking like color theory and stuff like that, along with like, animation. Yeah. Um, like classes and yeah i i during during college was when i was when i found out that i was like mm-hmm. i like the like the actual animation of like you know doing all of the yeah like, frame by frame stuff is yeah. what i didn't want to do um that's okay what i found out that i don't want to like i i was more i found out that i was more interested in like drawing like just drawing and then yeah um, okay okay and so and okay. so it's something that i don't think I like that. I kind of overlooked, like uh-huh. you know, growing as a oh, as a I see. Artist. It was like, oh, I totally skipped out on like painting yeah. and stuff like that. Okay, uh, and so that's definitely something that I was definitely like in need during that, but I didn't. I didn't get okay, because but, but then I like I I got the degree. I like I got yeah. associates in animation. Okay, in uh, twenty seventeen. And I was like, okay. oh, cool, like time for a bachelor's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. I mean, that's the next yeah. step. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Okay. So then was that uh an easy transition then from maybe thinking about becoming an animator to just switching to painting and sort of developing your your style as opposed to, you know, you know, maybe wanting to be a cartoon animator? It was a relatively simple transition i think mm-hmm. because i i wasn't planning on straying too far from like the entertainment world like the, yeah the, the entertainment art world um mm-hmm. because I, I like my goal is to be an illustrator like yeah um, okay to be an illustrator to, to be an illustration um so, like someday i would like to work for animation companies but not necessarily doing the animation okay rather doing like the visual development like the concept okay. design background yeah. painting and stuff uh-huh. like that and so um that was my goal um okay and i was like i definitely need to be in that yes yeah. so, oh yeah um so definitely was not like a very hard transition okay um, it was more like okay i know kind of i kind of know how to animate but this is but my skills can s- still be transferable to Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I'm going to kind of pivot real quick. I want to talk about the uh, Tambayan uh, collective, the art show. So this this is where I first saw you. Um, Shout out to Edmund, man. That uh, that's a good. Yeah, shout out to that guy. That guy is an inspiration. Yeah, he really is, man. I uh, it's funny. I met him at an art show uh, somewhere in L.A. 
and and then we talked and um yeah we just kind of hit it off and uh you know i i interviewed edmund and then you know he invited me to the show and you know it was it was awesome and you know then i i got to see your art in person so so it was great so how did he he approached you for the show did you know edmund before the whole thing got put together yeah so uh evan and i actually are um like we like we go to both like we both go to castle the Hills. Oh, okay um, yeah and uh we 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 were we together we were in, like in a couple of classes like doing classes and stuff like that and so uh-huh. we, like so that's how we kind of knew each other um mm-hmm. and um so we 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 both are familiar with each other's work yeah um and so i think around the time when when he was preparing for Tambaya and he was gathering artists and he he approached me uh, during mm-hmm. class oh really <laughs> yeah and he was like he was like hey man i want you to be in the show yeah and I, I, at the like at the time i was like oh yeah okay you know? <laughs> like, I, like i didn't think it was like such a such a big thing until like yeah. like the actual you know preparation of the show and i was like you know and then and then he like gave me this group chat and everything and i was like oh this is a thing this yeah. is oh, yeah. gonna be a thing <laughs> Serious <laughs> so I, I really didn't know what i was getting into but um yeah, props to him, and like I'm really thankful for that opportunity. That, yeah. yeah, was that your first show ever uh, showing your work is, in public? That is my first show. I've okay. never actually before that. I've never actually was thinking of you know like exhibiting oh, sure. work. Yeah, um, you know, because I because for me like I was I'm I'm, I'm my background is very entertainment arts. Yeah, um, and like entertainment arts is more of like the machinery of like, like yeah production and of entertainment like Hollywood and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um. Which I don't like. I don't mind being part of. That's that's what my goal is. But yeah, I didn't expect being in like studying at uh, CSUDH. Uh, yeah, to kind of be in a in a like at least in, in like a little bit of the 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 contemporary art sort of like uh, mm-hmm. world. Yeah. Um, and Tambayan made that real for me. Yeah. You know? uh, I was yeah. like, oh, this is actually a thing, and people are like, congratulations on the show, and I'm like. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. kind of, yeah, um, yeah. So that was a big learning. Um, that that, okay. that was a big like, whoa, this is a thing. You know, this is the, yeah, the, the, this is a thing that that you know people strive for as as artists. In, in yeah, this, yeah. In this, in this industry, and uh-huh. you know, like um, being in shows and being able to exhibit your, your artwork yeah. in in spaces like from Myanmar is, is a great privilege. Yeah, yeah. So also. Been, and you guys just had another show, right? In Long Beach, uh, not too long ago. Yeah, it was actually in Inglewood. Yeah. Oh, Inglewood. Uh, that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, at Inglewood man. at the uh, at the residency. Um, uh-huh. And so that that was good too. Um, I was I was able to uh, share like another one of my pieces that uh, okay. I kind of worked on. Um, mm-hmm. Were you there? I think I saw you there. No, I didn't go to the second one. I, I was at the oh, first okay. one though. I w- okay. I couldn't make that second one. I really oh, wanted okay. to go though, man. Yeah, it yeah. was uh because the first one was great. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. In terms of, you know, like representation, how did, you know, that show coming together with all these Filipino artists, how did that, I mean, I'm sure it was inspiring, but how does that feel for you having a platform like that where maybe not a lot of Filipino artists are, you know, in the spotlight? Well, like, what did that mean to you? As I mentioned before, it was, it was a big privilege. Um, mm-hmm. And I sort of maybe... I don't think I was in a place to really appreciate what an opportunity that was for me yeah. as a folk and artist. Um, um, I think being in Tambayan uh, was really like bringing me to be more aware of yeah. what it means to be a folk and American artist in, mm-hmm. in today's world. Um, the need to 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 you know to have a voice um, yeah. to be able to have these opportunities to voice. Um, mm-hmm. you know like who you are and represent like who you are in the culture through art yeah um, i for one was coming in like i'm gonna show art you know i'm gonna yeah. show me yeah um, and i definitely felt like i like i was telling him and i was like like i was i was like looking around i was like wow like these these artists i for one i i felt kind of out of place you know okay um yeah because i because i was like i'm not uh, like I, I don't consider myself much of a contemporary artist, you know. And uh-huh. oh, like sure. all these artists that have like great ideas and that they have developed such a strong voice in their in their artwork, like the way that mm-hmm. they do their artwork, 
the way that they represent our artwork, mm -hmm. um, the, way, the way it comes out and the way it differs from each artist, each artist. Yeah. Um, I was, I was so like, I was like, wow, like this is, this is a thing, you know, like yeah. I, I, um, I, like I was at a loss for words and I was talking and I was like, I, is it okay for me to like, no. you know, show and, you know, like have a voice in here because like, I, like, I'm, I'm trying to get into the entertainment part, you know, yeah, like yeah. it's, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's like, it, like I'm kind of, like, I kind of feel like I'm going to be an oddball, you know, like, okay. right out. and uh -huh. he was like, no, yeah. you know, like yeah. this, like, I want to, sh I want you to show your heart here, like, yeah. this, you know, because you, like you're, like, um, like it's like Filipino artists are not just contemporary artists, and it's not what he said, but like, yeah, so maybe uh -huh. what I got from him, what I understood was, you know, like Filipino artists stretch across, you know, like both worlds, the yeah, like the entertainment art and also the um, the contemporary art, yeah. Um, and um, to me, he told me, um, this is not verbatim. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay, I've got, I've, I've got what you say, Edmund, if you're watching this, yeah. <laughs> um, but he was like, no, like, like I want you in the show. And, yeah, and yeah. Like, this is this is like you're you're Filipino American. You know? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, awesome, like, man. Uh, if you say so, and, you know. <laughs> like, I was like, all right, dude, I'm gonna show what I what I have. You know? Yeah, I'll I'll put myself out there. Yeah, um, yeah, great. Yeah, but, yeah. It was it was definitely um, like it was definitely uh, a very a very huge learning experience for me to yeah. sort of be part of Tambayan, like the, yeah. the Tambayan collective to be, to represent with many other uh, Filipino American artists yeah. Yeah. who are great. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was a great show. Yeah. And you know, I want to talk about um, at least some of the pieces that I saw at the show. Cause you know what? Yours really stood out to me because of like when I, okay, there's one, okay. I'm looking at it right here. I'm not sure the name of it, but it's sort of like a teacup dragon. Yeah. Going, or like a serpent going. Oh, man. OK. Yeah. So so when I, I saw that one and and it's funny, like because I didn't know that you were, you know, more on the entertainment side, you know, being an illustrator. But the first thing that I thought of was, oh, this looks like something from like a Disney movie or something. This looks like, you know, something that should be, uh, you know, turned into a movie or a cartoon or something. And it's, you know, it's, it's funny to hear you say it now that that's, you know, kind of the side you're on, but even I didn't make that connection, but I just thought, oh, this is a great, you know, like fantasy style artist, man. It, it was, yeah, it was amazing. Absolutely well, thank amazing. You. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That piece. And there was another piece with a dragon, and it looks like there's someone on a flying carpet. Yeah. You know oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah that's so, the one. That's the one I showed at to mine too. Okay. Okay. So oh, okay. I didn't, one, yeah. I didn't see that one the first. But yeah, that's. I mean, yeah, these pieces are amazing. And and I, one of the questions that I had for you was, did you ever think about something like you know that you're obviously uh, trying to uh, go in the direction of? Because it it really does. It looks like it looks like a movie, man. It's. I mean, you. Yeah. You're, it's really good. Really, Thank really you. Good. Um, I yeah, I, 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 I've been sort of thinking about like, um, uh, like how I should represent my art in a sort of contemporary space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and those are the pieces that sort of came out of that. Was was um, I was directed to sort of develop a certain like theme, like what is my okay. art about and stuff like that. And, that was the first thing. That was the first time I've sort of like had that question. It was like, okay. what's your what's your art about? What's your message? You know. Oh sure. Okay. And I was like, whoa. Like, yeah. Like, uh -huh. so, you're, yeah. so so you're not so in entertainment art. Like you're being told what to draw. You know. Yeah. yeah. But I'm uh -huh. like I. So I, this is my decision now. Like I need to yeah. like do this. Um. And so my thing was, you know what? I'm just gonna do like a hybridization of something. Okay. Uh, of something that I love versus something that I'm I'm immersed in. Okay. Um, and so during COVID, you know, we were stuck, we were stuck at home, mm -hmm. but I was still sort of like, you know, being immersed in entertainment, like I was playing video games and, you know, like mm -hmm. I was very, um, I'm like heavily influenced in like the color, um, like the color works of video games and cartoons yeah. and stuff like that, of, of, of like the fantasy genre of dragons yeah. and, you know, like, like 
being able to create like sunsets with like you know, yeah. like the vibrant colors and stuff like that. So sort of mix all of that stuff with you know stuff that I could just find on my table. You know, yeah. like it's oh, like, hey, like oh, there's, okay. a, there's a mug right here. You know, yeah. like yeah. Um, uh-huh. And I and I, I had I I had the idea of combining these two. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, it's 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 a sort of like way for me to um, like like I. Like I like I don't really know how to sort of describe this. Um, mm-hmm. It was it was a way for me to um, be aware of my surroundings um, and mm-hmm. to look at my space, um, not in a way of you know being bored of like the sort of everyday things, but looking at it through the eyes of a child. You know, okay. Um, yeah. Of you know, like when I was a child, I would like get like all my action figures, and I would just yeah. like sort of like move them through like the table like or the space where the bed or whatever you know yeah. I imagine like like them like running across like buildings and stuff yeah. like that even though it's yeah. like a bed you know yeah yeah um, yeah no absolutely and and i i was like yeah like let's let's do this let's make let's make sort like let, let, let's illustrate that sort of imagination um, yeah. and and mm-hmm. bring it out you know because it's it was so like hard for people um during COVID to sort of stay home um, yeah, and to yeah. like some, make something out of their life. And it's, it's, mm-hmm. you know, um, I also sort of felt that frustration. Oh, sure. And, yeah. Um, and that's what sort of produced like, like that idea mm-hmm. of like, hey, okay. like, you know, being at home, that's a bad thing. You know, I, yeah. it's like, like it's, it's good to imagine like, fun things like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. So I uh, thought of like, Hey, like, like it, if you stack these mugs together, they look like a spine. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So that's what I was like. Oh, this could be a, like a serpent of something. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. And then I like I, I like I like this cool thought of like, you know, like you know, in like the like the entertainment world, like when you when you watch like fantasy like um, cartoons or like mm-hmm. movies, like they all have swords and stuff like that. Sure. Axes, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you know what? What if you take that away? What if they yeah. don't have swords, you know, oh, have axes yeah. and spears, but instead they have forks? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, and I'm yeah. like, hey, let's do that. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, <laughs> like, so that was that. That was sort of the thing that I was playing around with. Okay. Yeah. Those two yeah. paintings was. Uh huh. Yeah. Let's take sort of a, a lot of the like the great fantasy elements. Of the track, yeah. You know, like yeah, something that floats in the air. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But make it like make it, you know where it's it's like household yeah it's it's really well executed man yeah that 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 piece always stood out to me you know i would i was very drawn to you know that piece that i saw at the show it's it's wonderful yeah and it and it's great too because i now you know it all makes sense you know the sort of fantasy um elements in all of your pieces i saw that you had a uh what's the show that's on uh vox machina which is a oh fantastic show that I, I saw some of the, oh, the yeah. creations that you did there. Oh yeah, it's yeah. it's excellent. Was, so I, was, oh, sorry. oh no, go ahead. Oh no, I, I'm such a huge fan of like Dungeons Dragons and all that stuff. Yeah, it's, okay. Like, that, that's the sort of that's sort of where I also get like a lot of inspiration from. Okay. Like fantasy elements and stuff like that. So okay, so you know what? I I couldn't tell um, because I'm not familiar with you know you know everything in the genre, but. Have you ever thought of, or or any of the um, the pieces on your Instagram, like original characters? And it, and if they're not, have you ever thought about developing your own sort of world with your own characters and backstories and things like that? Oh, absolutely! I thought about. I yeah. was like, <laughs> um, I actually, I actually, and this is part of the Dungeons and Dragons game. Was uh-huh. you know, like there's a guy who's like a dungeon master, or whatever, and he's uh-huh. sort of in charge of like hosting a game for, for, for the players um, okay yeah. and i was I, I had the opportunity to to do that for the friends and um for the game like they give you like manuals and stuff so it's not like you don't yeah. make everything up but i was like nah you know what i'm gonna make my own world and yeah. i even like i like, like i set it up like like i like for for my players like i drew a map and everything like I, oh like, no I way made, uh-huh. like i made my own characters and stuff and I, yeah I, I, like i like the the process of the creation of characters um, yeah okay 
Like yeah. I think I think a lot of artists in the in, in the entertainment art world are just so hungry for that stuff. Like they're yeah. like, oh, oh yeah. like I'll create my own character, you know. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I'll, me too, you know. Yeah. And so, um, <laughs> oh, absolutely. Like I like I like I um I can do that. I'm not sure if I if I if I have any um, original characters in Instagram. Um, I actually do need to update some of the images because uh, uh-huh. the the what's it called the 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 dragon mm-hmm. theme. Um, yeah, I like I actually uh, revamped it up for oh. July number two, so it actually oh, okay. looks a bit different. But okay, generally the same. Uh, okay, oh awesome, this, man. Yeah, so I'll, I'll definitely like maybe like send you send you yeah. Another question I had about um, sort of the entertainment world as I you know scrolling through your IG is uh, I see some pieces that sort of look like comic storyboards. Was that uh, ever an idea or an option for you? Something that you'd get into uh, yeah. making a comic series? Oh, comic series. Um, you know, that, that was a, that was an idea that my high school friends and I were like always throwing out and we st- we'd start something. Yeah. It yeah. Never, <laughs> it would never yeah. take off, you know, because yeah because uh, it was just like we just hey this is a great idea we're like all right we're all on board let's uh-huh. do it and then we like we like we make a lot of characters and stuff like that um, uh-huh. and then and then i think at a certain point we're just like <laughs> we just really forget about it you know yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it, it's it, it's uh it was definitely like um for me it, it was definitely a fun idea um, yeah okay but i i don't think um right now like it, it's it's not something that i would sort of be okay. thinking, about, thinking about seriously okay um, if anything i'll just be sort of being on the side um, oh sure sure yeah, okay uh, yeah yeah because yeah, so, yeah you've got i mean i mean the, the way that you create and you know your sort of style i mean it could i mean it could fit into so many different categories i mean you know cartoons uh video games you know even comics and things like that so it's uh yeah it's uh i feel like you could go in so many different directions with and even you know creating like one of one pieces for you know different shows like that it's a yeah it's a a wide you know spectrum of things that your art can apply to which i i think is great you know it yeah provides a lot of different opportunities yeah thank you yeah like yeah. i i see that too and i think that's sort of um that's sort of the thing i struggled with uh, actually mm-hmm. was like it's it's good to sort of be like a jack of all trades you know yeah uh, like it's like like I really want to hone in on something, you know. Like, okay. Um, and being at CSUBH with all this like studio art, um, mm-hmm. like um, the studio art environment, um, and also like my original role of being illustrator, like um, okay, like working in the animation industry, yeah, was where I was like, all right, these two things, where do yeah. I, you know, like which yeah. way do I go? You yeah. Know? So I think that's where I'm at in the in my okay sort of journeys sort of like figuring out and solidifying like my direction okay okay for now like decide what that is if you had a um let's say like your dream job you could go work for any animation studio uh what would that be where would you go oh any animation studio yeah yeah that's that's a hard one um there's a lot of good ones um you know obviously like the big ones uh disney yeah. Blue Sky, Three Works, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, all with um, very good products and movies. So definitely, like, those are obviously on the list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm going to fight with these, this, this, this. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, video game wise, like, I, I would, I, I would like love to work for like, those. Yeah. Like, you know, those are two mix like, uh, yeah. I think there's like Overwatch. Yeah. Um, I think Riot Games um, mm-hmm. as well. Uh, yeah, stuff that's that I see that I'm like I can, I, I like I can see myself working. At. So, yeah, like, yeah. My skills would be sort of like will will kind of match what they need, which uh-huh. is what I'm hoping for. Okay. Yeah, because I was um uh, all right. So I um I'm a you know a bit older, but I. I love video games, right? Like I grew up with Super Nintendo. I saw yeah. the N64, the PlayStation 1 came out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 
So right now I'm playing, uh, <laughs> it's my it's my son's game, but it, he's a little too young to play it. it it's it's kind of hard. I've been playing Zelda Breath of the Wild. And, Ooh, all uh, right. It's a oh, great yeah. game, yeah. Yeah, but, and you know, as I was preparing, uh, you know, every, getting everything ready to talk to you, that's what I, um, that's why I had in my hand, like, oh, this would be, this guy would be great, you know, designing some sort of video game like this because, I mean, the the fantasy element in that game is, I mean, it's incredible. The open world in, in that game, to me, that's, like I said, I, I I go way back. That's that's one of the best games I've ever played in my life. Right? It's it's fantastic, and I, yeah, I can absolutely see you doing something like that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, like uh, like Breath of the Wild is had like it utilized a lot of great colors. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially, like especially in how they create environments, how they create like the mood, like yeah, you know, like mm -hmm. the like the mood around like Hyrule Castle. You know, yeah, it's yeah. like if you look away from it, it's like oh, like happy sunshine, and you look there, it's like oh, you know? yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. It's like welcome to hell, yeah, man. Yeah. It's, it, the contrast in that game is it's oh man, it's fantastic. You know, anyone watching this, if you have if you've got a a switch or something, go play that game. Yeah, it's, go play uh, that game. I actually need to play that game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I like I, I've seen just like the artwork, but I was like, yeah, you know what? I feel like this should be. Yeah, I bet. I've been playing that one got a chance. Yeah, do it. I've been playing it off and on for like a couple months. I'm not even done with it yet. It, it's so immense, man. It's it's fantastic. Yeah. All right. Um, so where you're at right now, well, you know what? This might not even apply to you. Um, but since doing the Tambayan show and getting an opportunity to to show your art, have you considered of maybe well, the first question I have is, other than, you know, the artists in the show, uh, do you have another group of like-minded artists? Uh, or even so, you know, from college and, you know, people that are in your field, is it a welcoming community? Because I know that with some, you know, contemporary artists, it can be a little, you know, cutthroat and, uh, you know, a lot of who you know to get you into certain spaces. Yeah, have yeah. you experienced any of that with the... Uh, you know, in your field of art? Um, I, I think for, in my field of art, um, I've met a lot of good people. Okay, yeah. Um, I've met a lot of good people. I think the, the sort of technicalities of um, being an entertainment artist yeah. is very, is, that's what's harsh. Okay. Um, is that you have to, you know, like you have to be very good with like the fundamental skills of art, okay. the painting, color theory, like drawing, yeah. like figure. Very mm -hmm. like you basically have to. If, if, if you want to get in the industry, you have to basically be as good or better as the people there now. Yeah, you know? yeah. So yeah. it's like if you want to uh -huh. get a job, you gotta be like you're good. You know. So, yeah. Uh -huh. um, so that's what's harsh. Um, uh -huh. I um I don't think I've met people that um have not been welcoming oh that's um, good yeah uh, like like i mean you know the it's like they're basically the friends that i sort of you know uh, okay like grew up as an artist in uh, like at mount sac uh, okay yeah. and, um like they've they've been my friends for a long time um, mm -hmm. and professors are um over there are like they're they're harsh when it comes to like teaching, but it's because like but it it bring it brought out the best yeah know, in, in, in me when I studied with under them. Okay. Um, okay. And so I don't like see them as like like, oh, like you're not gonna make it, you know, something like yeah. that. But it's more like, hey, if you wanna make it, that's what you have to do. Yeah. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> um, I don't think uh like I, I'm not very, um, I'm not very um, uh, well established in uh, mm -hmm. the 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 entertainment art community as of yet. Um, yeah, I just sort mm -hmm. of know the friends that you know sort of like, study with. Um, okay. So uh, that's uh, with that with that being said, that what I told you just now about you know, the people like that mm -hmm. that's sort of my perspective right okay. as of now. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. good. That's good because um, yeah, I, you know what? I would figure that it, since it's more of a um, you know, 
people in entertainment art are, you know, they're looking to join, you know, a company, a, you know, animation company or studio or something like that. It's, I wonder if it's, is it, I mean, I would imagine it's very competitive market once you get out of school and finally start to apply for jobs. Um, so how much school do you have left? And when do you think you'd start really searching for that, you know, um, that career? I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, after this current semester, um, mm -hmm. I just have one more. Oh, um, man. Uh, yeah. I'll have my BA. And, and that's months. awesome. So yeah. I'm like, hey, I'm almost out of here. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's, man, that's yeah. great, man. I mean, congratulations yeah, to you. Thank, man. you. That's, thank you. That's wonderful. Yeah. I want to ask a question about, you know, the COVID lockdown. And and we, we kind of talked about this a little bit. Did that have any effect at all? of the way that you create? Cause I, I know when I, when I talk to artists, it's either they were very productive because they couldn't do anything <laughs> or, or yeah, or artists that were kind of in a slump because they couldn't go outside and experience the world. Oh yeah. Um, I definitely was the latter. No. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. I was not at all productive, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, but COVID definitely taught me a lot of lessons. Um, mm -hmm not necessarily pertaining to art, um, mm -hmm. but uh, I think a lot of things in my life have just been sort of put on hold because I thought that I was just waiting. For yeah. COVID yeah. To, uh, like, yeah. to lock down some like, okay, not again. Yeah. And so um, like the, what, what COVID did affect me as, as an artist was, um, you know, like basically put on hold everything until, yeah. until yeah. it opens. And it's like, all right, time to get back to work. I think what really helped me during COVID was, I actually started my um, um, as, as a student. Like I started mm. my first semester during COVID. Oh wow! Um, oh, uh, like like at like at Cal State Hills. Yeah. Um, and I think that really helped me like um, like snap out of it. Um, okay. Because, I, because through that I was able to create art. Okay. To sort of put my skills to the test um, and mm. put, you know, still help my skills to grow. Yeah. Um, through like, through education. So yeah, I, I, I'm speaking of Thanksgiving. I'm really thankful yeah. that mm -hmm. you know that that was what happened. Um, yeah, yeah. E like because even though it, it it sort of like was like it put me in a slump in, in many different aspects of my life, but I think my education still helped me to create to continue yeah. to create. Okay. Um, yeah. And so I've definitely learned a lot from that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's awesome. Oh, you know, I had one more question for you. So I saw, you know, other than your your main IG page, you've got a second page where it's more faith-based, Catholic, you know. And oh, okay, yeah. this is coming from okay. I'm totally a Catholic school forgotten. kid, right? <laughs> I uh I, I went to Catholic school my entire life. And I see all these, I mean, these great, you know, pieces here. What and and if you don't want to answer this question, it's fine. But how does your faith come into play? when when it um in in relation to your your art career and also because i mean these pieces are fantastic okay. uh would you think about maybe expanding this side of your uh artwork um that was actually one of the challenges that i faced um mm -hmm. when i was thinking about my art career uh, mm -hmm. was um i because uh, faith is a big part of my life, yeah. um, and I've sort of been growing in like a like a, like a Catholic community. Um, mm -hmm. I was I was, do, I was I was actually really doing a lot for for okay. uh, for college back when I was when I was when, when I was living in Warren Heights, um, mm -hmm. and like I was very involved in youth ministry and stuff like that. Yeah. And I was I, I like I like I actually gained a lot of experience doing graphic design. For okay. them like as sort of a volunteer thing for like for retreats for yeah um, for like events and i ended up like doing the event planning like wow. and yeah. all that stuff and um and it sort of became a huge part of my life and um i like what when i made that instagram page i like i wanted to my i, I wanted to include that part of myself into my thing yeah um uh but i think as far uh, as far as um like use like expanding that um mm -hmm. i i don't know 
Yeah. I just want, yeah, I just want to say these, I mean, these pieces are great, man. I, um, and like I said, uh, 12 years of Catholic school. I'm glad that you okay. brought that up. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like I was, uh-huh. I'm not, I'm not surprised by that. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to because I, I mean, some people don't like to talk about, you know, religion, but yeah, I figured, all right, you know, this is something that I am familiar with. So I, you know, I might as well throw that question out there. Yeah. Well, well thanks for asking. That was, yeah. that, that's actually, um, that's actually something that I still need to sort of find an answer to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. thank you for bringing that up. I was, oh, yeah. I really appreciate that. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. The final question is going to be, if you could give any advice to, let's say, like a young illustrator who's thinking and going into the entertainment art world, like like you are, um, maybe not even in college, in high school, thinking about it, what's one piece of advice that you would give that you wish someone had given to you? Wow, that's hard. <laughs> no, there would there would be a lot that I would say. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be just one. <laughs> okay, yeah, all um, right, well, yeah, reel them yeah. off. <laughs> uh i think i think my first one to just be like do the work it, yeah. it sounds it sounds so yeah. monotonous it sounds so like um i know like it sounds just so like lifeless yeah um but it that's honestly like if you want to get better as an artist and yeah. if you want to continue to grow as an artist like everything from like finding yourself, finding your voice as an artist, mm-hmm. finding what you like to do, finding like your style, like learning, like painting, learning how to color, yeah. like um, finding like where you, like where you sort of like, where you can see yourself, you know, in, in the industry. That's that, that, that comes from doing art. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's just straight up. It's like, yeah, know, really? show up and do the work. Yeah. Um, I, wish that someone gave me that advice i'm not yeah. like uh, i'm a very lax person you know and so it's it's, yeah. it's like i work in bursts you know? yeah but uh-huh. with with consistency with consistency co- comes like um like a steady growth yeah you know? yeah and, oh you're right um and honest like that that's that would be my first sort of like i guess advice is to you know do the work like mm-hmm. if, if you if, if like even if you feel like you don't want to do art yeah like, you know, like that's, you have to. like that's you, just... you can still gotta do the art yeah know? yeah uh-huh yeah, <laughs> yeah. repetition man that's yeah, yeah. It, oh, it, like you said it sounds simple but i mean that's really that's <laughs> that's really the first step you just have to keep going yeah yeah you, you yeah. gotta you gotta be uh consistent yeah uh-huh. yeah i think it's and i'm I'm going to talk about like a little bit about my faith because that okay. also applies to, to faith. Uh, Cause what I learned from faith is mm-hmm. you know, from my faith from, from, from being Christian um, is that uh, like when you're in a relationship with someone, mm-hmm. you know, like, um, like when you love them, like mm-hmm. you still care for them even when you feel like you don't want to, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, um, when I, like, I think when it's like, when, when you know you feel annoyed or you know when it comes to like um it's like i, I don't want to do this you know like or yeah. stuff like that but if you love that person you know, mm-hmm. like you would still serve them yeah you know? mm-hmm. um, re- like regardless of how you feel mm-hmm. um and so it, in that relationship with with like god or people you know it, i feel like it's a sort of same way with art you know yeah. it's like hey if, if if art is your passion you yeah, know, you would do it even if you don't feel like to. You do yeah, it you like it. So, absolutely. Like that's 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 when you know you love something. You yeah. know, that that when passion about something is that you do it whether or not you mm-hmm. feel like doing it. Yeah, you know? yeah. So uh-huh. yeah, that'll be my advice. It's just, yeah, no, that's great. Show up, <laughs> do the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, I like that. I like the way you put that. That's absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. If you love it, you're going to do it no matter what. Yeah, that's yeah. that's. That's great advice, man. Absolutely. All right. Now, uh, where can the people find you? Where can they uh, see all of your work? Is it Instagram the best place to uh, kind yeah, of follow it's... and see what you're doing? Yeah, Instagram is the best place um, to follow my my growth as an artist. And, yeah. Um, at uh, Smoss Mamacho. 
Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm going to put it right down here on the bottom of the interview. So Sweet. people check it out. Um, yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, it was a pleasure. And uh, I hope that sometime in the future, when you when you get huge and you're at some, you know, big time studio, we can do this again, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I'd love to. You're like uh, a, like a before and after or something. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's great. All right. All, All right. right, awesome, man. Thank you. Thank you for your time, man. Yeah, no problem.